Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. So in this video I would like to talking about types of the cutting fluids and the applications of the cutting fluids with their properties and the requirements. So let us start the cutting fluids. So basically what happens generally that will be the applied to the tool and the workpiece to assist in a cutting operations. So basically the cutting fluid that will be applied in between the physical contact of the workpiece and tool. Suppose just you can see that will be the workpiece material which is fitted into the chuck of a lathe machines and this one it will be the cutting tool materials and that will be the workpiece. So if that will be the hardness that will be higher of the workpiece so that will be the necessary to apply a cutting fluid. So that will be having uh, so many applications that will be used into the any kind of workshop or you can say production technology or manufacturing process. So basically the cutting fluids that will be two types. So first one that will be a soluble oils and second one cutting oils. So what is the basic difference between soluble oils and cutting oils? So let us say for the soluble oils which are mixed with the water and that will be used as a soluble oil or you can say with the soap. For the cutting, so that oil it never mix with the water. So that will be the insoluble with the water. That's why it will be called as a cutting oil. So which are as a soluble oils? So these are the emulsions of the oil and the water or you can say soap and the water. So that will be called as a soluble oil. Whenever that will be mixed with the water, so that will be having a white color. in nature. So you can find into many of the works of this. And for the cutting oils we would be pure oils or you can say mixture of the two or more oils. So that would be called as a cutting oil. After the discussing with the soluble oil and the cutting oil or you can say cutting fluids. So that will be the one kind of purpose of the cutting fluids. Why it would be required and which kind of advantages of the cutting fluid is being used into the production of the many components. So let us see first one to cool the tool during the metal cutting operations. So for reducing temperature. So generally in the case of the cutting operations the tool is physically touch with the workpiece material so that will be at the higher speed, speed and depth of cut it will be generating the higher temperature. For reducing that temperature that will be generating between the tip of the tool and the workpiece material. So that will be necessary to reduce that particular temperature. So that cutting fluid it will be used to cool the tool and that will be also increasing the life of tool or you can say reducing the wear and tear of the tool materials and hence that will be increasing accuracy of the finishing. Second one to cool the workpiece materials. So if that will be increasing the temperature of the workpiece material, so we already know at higher temperatures all the materials that will be degrading their properties and that will be need to be controlling that particular temperatures. So the cutting fluids that will be having an important part to cool the workpiece temperatures also. Third one, to provide the lubricate and reduce the frictions, that will be the important one. If that will be reducing the frictions, that, that will be also reducing the generation of the temperatures. So that will be providing as a lubricant between physical contact of the tool and workpiece. 
and next one to improve the surface finish we already discussed increasing the accuracy of the product then to protect the finished surface from the corrosions so if it will be making a mirror kind of finish finish surfaces so there is no any kind of dust particles or you can say dust particles it will be deposited onto the surface of the products so that will be never corroded due to the environment effect so that will be protect from the environment effect or you can say the corrosion to wash the chips away so you can say act as a flushing so whenever yes you can see that will be the basic arrangement of the workpiece materials so that will be the formation of the chips you can say that will be the workpiece according to that shear zone you can say ab the chip is being formed so this one is our tooling materials and this one is our workpiece material so by the providing of the fade towards the workpiece materials so that will be formation of the chips so that chips that will be the main issues for the wear and tear of the materials so that chips it will be flushed away by the cutting fluids so that will be the basic requirements or you can say purpose of the cutting fluids that will be using into the metal cutting operations after the purpose of the cutting fluids that will be the main topics and that will be the properties of the cutting fluid how it will be look like so basically for reducing the temperatures that will be having a high heating absorbing capacity so that would be tend to reduce the temperature second one good lubricating qualities so basically that good lubricating capabilities or you can say qualities that will be reduce friction so due to that reduce the frictions that will be also reduce the temperatures third one high flash points or you can say high that boiling points so that will be never making a fire then it should be a stable and not get oxidated so that will be no any kind of environment effect on to that particular cutting fluids next natural so as not to react the chemical so not chemically react with the workpiece or you can say tool materials so that will be not degrading the properties of the workpiece materials then harmless to the skins of the operators so not any kind of hazards on to the operators non corrosive to the work or you can say for the machine so that will be increasing the machine life so you can see the machine life is being increased low viscosity to permit the free flow and low price to minimize the production cost so that will be related with the price so with low price that will be available into the market so these all are regarding to the cutting fluids purpose of the cutting fluids types of cutting fluids and the properties requirement of the cutting fluids so if you like this then subscribe and share more the mechanical engineering tutorials thank you very much